Welcome to Munson Made This, where today I don't have to make anything because I am lucky enough to be here in Los Angeles, California for the Vegan Street Fair. I'm super excited to try all the amazing vegan food. You can see all these food trucks here and tents in the distance. So I'm going to eat all of the amazing food that I can fit into my belly. So stick around and I'll show you everything that I eat here. Brian Litzoff. <laughs> So a pro tip for anyone that is attending any type of festival or vegan uh, food fair like this is to find somebody who knows what they're talking about. So we ran into Russell, the roller coaster vegan, and I asked him where we should eat because this thing is super overwhelming. Uh, and he told us to go to a restaurant called Let Us, Let Us Feast. And uh, he said they have amazing chicken there and to go there first because they would have a super long line. So here I got a single tender. Another cool thing about this event is that every place has a $4 bite so that you don't have to spend $10, $15 for some big dish. So you can just order smaller things just like this single tender and uh, it's only $4 and you can eat a lot more. So let's give it a taste. This is ranch also, by the way. Mm. Mm. That breading is so good. Ben's holding the camera right now, but can't wait for him to taste this. <laughs> 10 out of 10. So scanning through all the food trucks here, we haven't even gone like one block yet, but I saw this dumpling truck and decided I needed to try them. So I'm gonna go get their $4 taste, which is two vegan dumplings. Even though all of the vendors here have like plastic utensils and stuff, I did pack a little napkin roll with some utensils in it last night before I came here so that I have them and I don't have to use any plastic utensils. But um, for these dumplings, I actually do have some chopsticks that I pack, so this is perfect. Um, I'm not sure what exactly is in these dumplings. I was just told they're, they're vegan dumplings. And so I'm going to give this a try. It looks so good. I covered it in some chili sauce. And I don't know, do I just eat the whole thing at one time? God. That is amazing. I think it's just like a vegetable filling, but the texture of that dumpling is so good. It's just like this nice chewiness, and I'm not sure if it has any, what exactly it has in it, because it's green, but so good. I also put a little bit of peanut sauce in here. It's not really coming through, but yeah, these dumplings are incredible. Glad I stopped. So this is their $4 grandma slice. Not huge, but perfect because, I don't know if you can see in the video, there's a ton more to go. This is the first, like outside of Vegas, veg, veg fest or uh, vegan fair that I've ever been to. And it's huge and kind of overwhelming and I want to try it all and everything. And anyways, I'm going to give this a taste. Um, I heard that they make their own cashew based cheese on here. So I'm really excited to try it. That crust is really good. Really creamy cheese, balsamic reduction on top, a little bit of uh, flake salt as well. It's really good. Mm. Can't wait to see what else there is. So 
we just talked to the people at Vegan Power Company. I got myself a little pin here, got some stickers. We're down in the tent section now. It's crazy. I didn't expect it to be this big. Uh, another cool thing about this event is to my left here is a hydration station. They've got these, like, they've got a ton of them set up. So bring your own water bottle here and you can fill it up and stay hydrated. I remember that was a problem with the one in Las Vegas is that we were dying of thirst and you had to buy bottles of water in order to hydrate. So this is definitely a plus. So I'm excited to explore all these tents and see exactly what they have. I saw they have some mushroom jerky here and I think it's called Kelly's Croutons, which I've heard a lot about. So I'm just really excited to taste what else they have here. Not so much like food food, but vendors and all their cool products. So let's take a look. So the cashew based Parmesan. So no dairy, completely vegan. Every multiple of two, you do save a dollar. Wow. Want to try one? Those are amazing. are making our way down the line of tents. I'm not sure how many we've gone through or seen or how many we have left to go, but we did try the mushroom jerky. It was incredible. Ben actually tried it. The place is called Pan's Mushroom Jerky. Uh, it was so good. Ben hates mushrooms. He loved the jerky. So we're probably gonna go back and get some of that. We also tried Kelly's croutons. They were incredible. They have this like crouton bits, sort of that use like a bacon bit on some food. <laughs> they were so good. So we'll definitely be stopping back by there as well to get some stuff before we head out. But as of right now, we still have a lot more to check out. Thank you very much. Yeah, Appreciate it. This looks amazing. Look at the breading on it too. So, uh, hi. Hi. It's Michael and yeah. Ben. Come on, introduce hi. yourself. What's your channel? Hi, I'm Sahar, and my channel is Sahar Bell. Sahar and Bell. I'm Sahar Bell, and this is Michael. It and is. You're Hi. Oh, hi. So we actually, do you want to try a pickle with me? Hell yeah. So these a are pickle. They're fried pickles. I don't like pickles, but I'll try one. All right. So these are uh, Chef Ash Marie's fried pickles. Okay. You want to reach on and grab one? All I'll right. try Can one with do, you. Yes. Let's, let's do a little cheers here. Cheers. cheers. It's pretty good. Does she like pickles too? <laughs> it doesn't taste much like pickle, but it's Let really good. Look at this sauce right here. Yeah, go for it. I think it's sort of like a sriracha mayo or something. Did we convert you? Are you now a pickle? Holy pickle shit. fan? Yeah, I used to. I always used to make fun of fried pickles. By the way, yeah, you that's love so them. funny. I love them. Cool. I well, like them. They're only four dollars, so. Thanks for you sharing. Them. You're welcome. Me. Thanks for fun, right. coming in the video. Yeah. Thanks for letting me grab you off the street. You guys, this is my friend Michael. Hi. He's from Las Vegas. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Hi, Let I'm Michael. My channel is called Months and Made This, and uh, I cook vegan food and I eat at vegan festivals and eat fried pickles off sticks. Yeah. So check out my channel. Check out his channel. <laughs> I didn't get too far from the last uh, taste test, and I saw the dirty cookie, and they have these cookie shots. It's basically a coconut cookie. I'm guessing it's sort of like a Samoa, kind of like a Girl Scout cookie. There's coconut, chocolate, and cookie, and then it's full of coconut cold brew. So, cheers. Cold brew's really good. Mm. The whole cookie is lined with chocolate. Really good. The dirty cookie. One of the foods that we were told we could not miss were the stuffed spaghetti balls from S&M Vegan, which is the vegan street food booth. Uh, and the picture that I saw of these, or the video I saw of these, had this amazing pull moment. So I'm gonna see if I can get that here in this video. It's full of essentially like a vegan cacio e pepe. Yeah, that's a pretty beautiful shot. But it's gonna taste 
even better than it looks. Oh my God. As everything is creamy, it's chewy, it's crunchy, salty. Mm. It looks like we might be kind of approaching the end here, but at the same time, it looks like we're actually approaching the mother load here because there are about five stands here that I've been told I have to visit. So I've got a lot more to eat. So let's keep going. Thank you very much. So good. Mm. I think they make all their own meats. Oh, sorry, this is from Senna Vegan. I know they make their own tortillas, but pretty sure they make their own vegan meat. This is their Alp House store with pineapple, cilantro. It's amazing. So far, I haven't even tasted it yet, other than just pieces of their meat. Again. Haven't gotten much further than where I was last time. Actually, I'm standing right across from where I ate the last thing, but uh, my hands are full, so I need to find a place to try to sit down, take off this backpack for a while, and dig in. We actually didn't have to travel that far to get a seat. And one of the cool things I've seen about this event is they do have a lot of seating areas for people. And we walked by and some lovely ladies were leaving and allowed us to sit down. So now I can try my giant taco from Senna Vegan, which I've been picking at. It's so far really good. Let's see, it's so huge. This is the $4 option for them. This is massive. Pardon me. It's a lot of spice. Not only is that meat incredible, but whatever sauce they put on there, it's so spicy, so rich, incredible. Probably should take a little bit of a break before I try this, which is the mushroom bao from Man Eating Plant. Nah, let's just dig in. So it's a bao bun, fried mushroom, and I'm actually not sure what else. Looks like there's some sort of chili oil or chili sauce on there as well. That chili oil flavor. It's like a nice Sichuan chili oil. Really comes through. Again, just like a really great fried mushroom. Just it's all about the crunch and shatter of the batter, chewiness of that bun. It's so good. So I'm gonna let Ben put down the camera and help me eat all this delicious food and enjoy the ambience of the fair. We are in line for Monk's Vegan Smokehouse. We're gonna get some jerk seitan wangs. We sat down and ate, and now uh, we're kind of like, uh, should we have sat down? Because we still have a few booths to go and a lot of food to try and starting to wind down a little bit, but I'm excited for these wings, so. We have made it to the end. We have two bites left. We'll probably grab a couple more on our way back to the other side, but we have Vigatino's Chicharron Taco and the Monk Meat uh, Jerk Wangs. So let's give the Wangs a fry. I keep saying Wangs because that's what they are, W-A-N-G-S. So let's give these a try first. Tastes like a, um, I probably wouldn't order these again. Let's try these, Chicharron Tacos from Vigatino's. Mm. 
I would order this again. That's incredible. We were told this was the best Mexican truck here or the best Mexican food at the vegan street fair and it is incredible. The chicharrones are basically fried pieces of uh, soy curls and it is an incredible taco. So crispy and spicy from the sauce and it's delicious. I'm definitely gonna start frying my soy curls like this. But, well, I'm gonna finish eating this, see what I can find on the way back. What, what? We have the, our flavors right here. Cookie butter faces are most popular. Okay, and uh, what's Green Goblin? That's our mint chocolate chip with pandan. Did you want to try? Sure, yeah. yeah. And then what about cookies? You have just one. The cookie butter face? No, I'm sorry, the cookie, uh, the cookie cookie. Oh, or the... we have chocolate chip cookies. Okay, cool. Yeah. You said with pandan, is that, is yeah, that like that's a... Yeah, coconut. Oh. Yeah. Did you want to try the cookie butter as well? I want that one. That one? Yeah. Oh, the cookie sandwich, right? Yeah, please. Thank you. Oh my god, that's so good. I don't think I've ever had pandan before. I think I'm saying that right. Anything Is, else for you today? That's everything. It's about to get messy here. I have an ice cream cookie sandwich from a Hug Life. Uh, it is their, I forget the name of it, but basically it's a pandan, I think I'm saying that right, uh, mint chip with a chocolate chip cookie sandwich. That flavor is so good. I guess it's like a coconut leaf. It's just such a complex flavor. It's not just mint chip. It's got this extra layer of like, I guess coconutiness to it. Plus the chocolate chip cookie is phenomenal. It's gonna be a bit messy. So I'm gonna switch over to my wooden little spoon here or grab a spoon out of my backpack and finish this thing up. I'm here with Russell, the roller coaster vegan. And uh, it's he who I ran into at the beginning of this whole event and asked him where I needed to go and eat and he hasn't led us astray. So thank you very much for that. How are you enjoying the festival? I'm loving festival? it. I am definitely running a little full, but I think uh, I'm, I'm ready potentially for a little more stuff. I had a uh, fruit stop has a uh, mint uh, cucumber lemonade that I had and made me feel a bit refreshed. So I yeah. feel like I'm refreshed and ready to go. Yeah, we're starting to run a little bit tired because we probably had all of the $4 eats from everywhere we stopped by. So thanks again for the recommendations. For I sure. Think, uh, we've hit all but like three or four at this point. So all right. it was incredible. So thanks again. Yeah, absolutely. It. My pleasure. Thank you. Well, we spent about four hours in the vegan street fair. I am completely stuffed. I don't even know how many foods or things that I ate, but uh, if I get hungry on the way home, I got a whole swag bag full of more goodies uh, that I just did a little interview about, and uh, I'm excited to try all the things that are in here. So uh, I had a blast. Can't wait to come back next year. Vegan Street Fair 2020. Thank you for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel if you have not yet already. It's a plane overhead, so just like the people on that plane, I'm going to get out of here, and I'll see you next time.